there welcome back to bdp and welcome to an unboxing video of interested in grace shadows now i purchased the mystery grab bag of shadows from sydney grace this was a 20 dollars bundle that has 10 shadows in it and i have never tried sydney grace before i'm a little bit turned off by the price point I just find it very hard to justify spending $6. I think they're up to $6.25 now for a single shadow. I don't use any of my individual eyeshadows quite often enough, I feel, to justify that. Though I've only heard good things about their quality, so I'm really excited to get into it. Here is how this came packaged. This was in a very slightly larger outer cardboard box that had you know my address and stuff on it so I took this out there is a sticker here that I have sliced but I've not looked in to see what else is in the box so let's pull these out and get to the video I do intend to do a try on that's why I'm not wearing any eye makeup or really actually any makeup except for some lip gloss so there was some tissue paper balled up on either side and then we have the 10 shadows. Are there 10 in here? Yes. So let's just put these down upside down and work our way through. So the first shade looks to be sort of a deeper red toned matte brown. This is the shade Pinecone. Not really my preferred type of color, but a useful one to have. And for reference, each of the shades seems to come in this little sleeve that has a plastic piece that would cover the actual shadow. And then they come in within an outer envelope. So they're well wrapped, they're well protected. The next shade is another, oh, this is more of a plum shade, okay. I was like, are these the same color? No, this one is definitely more plummy, whereas this one is a reddish brown. This is a matte as well in the shade Labyrinth. Next up, we have a shimmer. Good. <laughs> Starting to think we might just get all deep reds and browns, which is pretty, but not my preference. Definitely not what I would go to an indie brand for. This is kind of a chunky guy. This is, ooh, this is messy. Tried to clear off the back so I could even see it. Delivered freely, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to do some looking. But this is a... How would I describe this? Sort of a plummy take on copper, almost? It's a very interesting shade. I definitely do not have anything like this in my collection. But I'm interested to give this a go. It's pretty. I need to find something to set that on because it's a little on the messy side. But Oh, and I didn't say this earlier, but I will swatch all of these after I've opened them up. We are very much sticking to a color family here. This next shade is more of a purple, but a pretty similar depth, I would say. This one definitely has some gray to it, though, which I greatly appreciate. This is the shade Violet. <laughs> Keep wanting to swatch, but I'm going to wait so I can do that in a way that's more helpful at the end so that I can put, you know, the shades that look the most similar next to each other so you can compare. The next shade in here is another matte. This one is simplicity 
This definitely is like a purple toned brown, which that's interesting. I don't know that I have too many shades that are super similar. And I do love purple eye looks, so. All right, my neighbor opened their garage door and it, that's always a very loud experience here. So I took that opportunity just to take the shades out of their envelopes. We can go through these a little bit faster. The first one that we have is a very interesting color. This is like a super deep blue. This is the shade Absolute Zero. It's actually catching the light a little bit better. Turned this way, I think. To me, it was looking a lot closer to a black than it looks to be in the viewfinder. I'm interested to see that shade. Next up, we have another brown matte. I don't love that. I wish that they would have given us some nicer variety. I don't think too many people are going to indie brands to get medium to deep brown mattes, but I guess that's the risky take with a mystery bag. This is the shade Requiem. And this looks to be pretty neutral. I would say this is the most true neutral brown of the bunch that we have received thus far. Next we have a, another purpley shimmer. This is more of a berry shade and this is Cranberry Boy. So yeah, berry seems about right. There is definitely a color theme there's definitely a color theme with these shadows, which I think could be great for some people, but it's not really my color scheme. So a little bit of a disappointment there. The next shade is another purple shimmer. I do love purple. And this is Refuge. I would say that this is more of a true purple, whereas the last shade was more of a cranberry. I'm really glad that I decided to swatch these all at the end so that I can arrange them in a more helpful, hopefully more meaningful way. And then this final shade, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't almost looks not entirely mixed. Like I can see little pieces of red and a lighter silver in with this deeper charcoal base. It looks like asphalt. This is the shade Traveling Elegance. It's like a deep gray shade. Okay, let's start with these mattes. When we're swatching, this one is Requiem, which is the most neutral of these browns. They're all pretty similar in depth though. Then let's work, start with the coolest. This is Simplicity, which has quite a bit of plum to it. I almost wouldn't call that a brown at all in comparison to the last shade that is definitely looking more like a plum swatched out. Now let's go for Labyrinth, which is quite reddish. That's pretty. And then finally, we have Pinecone which is the warmest of the browns. So everything here is of a pretty similar depth, I would say. Just, you know, add a little bit of red, add a little bit of purple. All of them feel similarly smooth to the touch. All of them applied really smoothly. I am interested to see how these shimmers compare. So let's start with the two that are probably the most different from the rest. And that would be the gray, which was Traveling Elegance. That is a pretty, pretty shade. I think that I have things that are similar, but it is pretty. Actually, I don't know because this has a little bit of that reddish tone to it. 
which I don't know how well that'll really come across on the eyes, but that is present in a way that it's not in any of my other deep gray shades. And then we have Absolute Zero, which is that bluish color. Super pretty. I feel like that would be gorgeous over a black base. Don't know exactly how I would wear it, but very, very pretty. Sydney Grace did give the warning that these were going to be pretty deep, but I don't think I expected just how deep this set of colors was going to skew. Now to sort out these more purpley shades, we're going to start with Violet, which is more of a grayish purple. Oh, I will use the heck out of that shade. I don't have anything similar to that. That is a grayish purple, but it's a little bit deeper than like a lavender gray, which I do have a few times over and really, really enjoy. That I am excited for. The next shade is definitely more on the copper side. This might be one of the ones we swatched earlier. This is Delivered Freely. Definitely pretty. It's interesting how that's like a cool toned copper with some purple to it. That doesn't seem like a color that should exist, but it does and it's very, very pretty. You know, these shades are looking a lot more different swatched out than I felt like they looked in the pan. There is almost like a deep sort of gray toned rainbow going on here and I'm kind of into it. I was feeling pretty disappointed at first, but I'm kind of liking these shades. Next up, we have Cranberry Boy. I don't know why it's so funny to me that it's specifically Cranberry Boy, but it really is. So there is that shade. It is right in between a cranberry and a violet, I would say. Again, with quite a bit of gray thrown in. And then finally, we have Refuge, which is this purple shade. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that. There was a little bit of an interruption there. My phone started buzzing, but I think that I just swatched this last color, which is Refuge, and it is oh, so, so pretty. It's a little bit cr like Crayola 12 pack for my usual tastes, but in this purple, I'm so into this. I don't even know where to start. This is going to be fun. Let me go wash off my swatches and put on some eyeshadow primer and we'll figure out what to do with this. Okay, I have eyeshadow primer on, I've set my eyeshadow primer, and because I do like to incorporate some lighter shades into my makeup and there's really nothing lighter in here, I've also pulled out my Lorac Fairy Tale Forest palette, which I wasn't really thinking about this, but the overall color story in here is not super, super similar to what is in these shadows. However, I feel like it is a really nice compliment. The Sydney Grace shadows almost feel like an expansion pack for this palette. Also, I wanted the mirror, so <laughs> that was most of why I grabbed it. But let's start out building up my crease a little bit. I think I'm going to use the shade Labyrinth for this, and I'm just going to go into a small blending brush. I'm kind of afraid about how pigmented this might be, but we will, we will see where this takes me. Okay, there is definitely pigment there. So, definitely, definitely if you are of a deeper skin tone and you were worried about this, mystery bag. I 
think that you would be just fine. Okay. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Okay. That's not super blended, but we can work with it. I went in again for the second eye. Okay, I just needed to be a little bit lighter handed with it. Because that is about the level of pigment that I really like in the crease. And I just barely, barely tapped my brush into that shade for that second eye. Now, am I going to repeat my mistake so that my eyes match? Yes. But for future reference. Okay. Honestly, that doesn't look awful. I feel like I'm being very dramatic, but I don't dislike how this looks thus far. I need just a hair more on this side. My unevenly hooded eyes are striking again. Okay. And then the shade that I want to use all over my lid is Traveling Elegance, which is that sort of asphalt looking shade. Let's see what the pigment on this one is like. Again, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I almost think I would have been better off just trying to do a one shadow look with this one. However, um, that's not what I did. So This is what we're, we have to work with. From how easy that is to maneuver with just my finger, I feel like that would make a really good one shadow look. Okay, since I am, you know, working today, I feel like I should add some lightness to this. So I'm going to go in with, I don't know, I took the names out of this palette. This lightest shimmery shade. I'm gonna take that on my finger. And I'm going to just put that in my inner corner and then over that asphalt shade. I might be taking this makeup off, but it is looking really pretty. I like it. I just don't know that I really like it for uh, work on like a Tuesday. I like that. Oh my goodness. I really do like it. Okay. And you know what? If I'm taking this makeup off anyway, which I definitely am because this is this is not appropriate for my workplace. Let's just mess around with some purple because I can. So this is Refuge and I'm going to just put it on my little smudger brush and take that under my eye. actually pops really nicely. I think it really brings out the green in my eyes, which 
cool. I'm going to have so much fun with these. Could use just a little bit of additional depth in my outer corner. So for that, let's go in with this deepest brown, which is Simplicity. This is the shade that I kept saying was more of a plum. And I was right, it is more of a plum, but I'm, it still looks brown to me in the pan. So I'm just gonna deepen up that outer corner a little bit. I think you can see from that color, from that, from the contrast with the gray, that it really is more of a plum. It's pretty. Everything here is pretty. And the same on the other side. Not quite even, is it? Okay. You know what? If I was wearing this out of the house, I would be a little bit more worried about keeping things even, but I've already decided I'm taking this makeup off. So I am fine with where it's at. I love this gray with the purple. I will need to remember this for some other time. It's pretty. I could have done a little bit better job of blending up here, but let's see, actually. Let's go in with uh, this shade and this shade from La Rock. I feel like those are pretty similar in tone, but not depth to Cranberry Boy was. And yeah, that makes the blend look a lot better. So I've used it on this side, I haven't on this. then just to brighten things up, I'm going to go into this shade by itself with a tiny, tiny bit of this champagne and use that on my brow bone as well as right here. I do like that. Okay. I am really, really happy with this little bundle. I was uh, a little bit nervous at first when I started just pulling out what looked to me at the time to be some very similar like cranberry shades over and over, but swatched out, things are looking different. I really like the eye look that I got. I mean, it could have been better applied, but I do like the combination of colors. And overall, I feel like $20 for the, these 10 shades was a pretty good deal. I think there are quite a few different looks that I would could see myself doing with these shades. I do see myself actually using almost all of these shades. I probably could have done without this really warm orangey brown, but I know I'm somewhat in the minority there. Everything's really pretty. I think the quality seems to be quite good. I am really interested to continue to play around with these, and I think that if Sydney Grace were to offer a similarly priced bundle and maybe aim 
a little bit more at lighter shades, I would be all over that. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions that you would like me to clear up, I will at least try to answer them in the comments below. If you got this mystery bundle, did you get the same set of shades? I'd be really interested in knowing if there was some difference between bundles. Thanks again. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that I will see you all in the next one. Bye!